Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, coming at you again today to continue our devotions for the week. Um, and uh, just in case you didn't know, want to make sure you understand that there are five days till Christmas. So no, no need to panic. Um, still plenty of time. All you procrastinators, there's still plenty of time. But hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, we're going to do a short devotion today. Um, it comes from a uh, scripture that we've been looking at this week, and the guys have been in different scriptures. But this one comes from Isaiah 9, verse 6. And so I'll share my screen with you here, and, and we'll get going on our devotion today. But first of all, I want you to know um, that uh, today we're going to be talking about the, the Prince of Peace. And uh, the, the scripture that we're looking at in Isaiah um, chapter 9, verse 6, is uh, it, it actually tells um, several names for Jesus. But let's read this together, and we're going to focus today on the Prince of Peace. But Isaiah 9, 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we get into that, I want us to talk about uh, the different types of peace that we may maybe uh, need to understand uh, to be sure we know what we're talking about when we uh, refer to Jesus as the Prince of Peace. So uh, there's a couple of different kinds of peace that come to mind. The first type of peace that comes to mind, obviously, is uh, the type that is known among the world, which would be, you know, peace among people. Uh, so when you think about that, that would mean no war, no fighting, uh, nobody's hitting one another. We don't have um, physical wars going on between countries and that th kind of thing. So when you think about peace, uh, that's one way that you can, can think about it. Secondly, um, and one that we want to focus on today, there, uh, there's a type of peace that is an individual internal peace. Uh, that we only find through a relationship with Christ because we know without a shadow of a doubt that our life is safe in His hands. So there's the two different types of peace. The world peace, which refers to fighting uh, and wars and that types of thing. And then um, the peace that we find only in a relationship with Christ. Now, Jesus also kind of clarifies and defines this and draws a line between the two types of peace. In uh, another scripture, which we look at here on the screen, John chapter 14, verse 27. So when we read that, it says, peace I leave with you. Now look at this, my peace I give unto you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you, and then he says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So we, we want to talk about this. Jesus says that I leave peace with you, but it's my peace, not the peace that the world will give. Right. So um, so what we see here is that the, the peace of Jesus is a is a one and only kind of peace. Right. And I think that maybe uh, we have a misconception that. Uh, especially maybe among non-believers, that they say, oh, yeah, I have peace in my life because my family's not fighting with one another. I don't really have any enemies that are out to get me. You know, my all my relationships with my friends and my family are going good. We're not mad at one another, so I have peace in my life. Well, I want to tell you today, just to be clear, that the only true peace is the peace that we talk about here in John fourteen twenty seven, and that's the peace that comes only from Jesus and not the peace that the world gives, but only the peace that comes from him, from him. And so the last part of that verse says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So just like there are probably people who think that they are uh, peaceful, they have peace in their lives because things are going well, I also think there are people who are really having a hard time and their, their life may be um, a little bit all over the place and maybe their heart is troubled and maybe they are fear, fear, filled with fear right now and they're seeking to be able to find that peace that only Jesus can bring. So I want to tell you if you're that person today, you can find that true peace. You can uh, take this line here that says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And you can see that actually take place. All you have to do is accept Jesus into your life as your Savior. And to do that, you, you simply say, I'm, I'm a sinner. I'm not perfect. 
Uh, please forgive me of my sins. I want to make you Lord of my life. I believe, Jesus, that you died on the cross and rose from the grave. And so, you know, when we talk about the peace of Jesus, and we're, we're here at Christmas, obviously, um, it's important to know that in order to, to find that peace, in order to have that true peace in your heart, you have to know what Christmas is about, right? When, when Jesus came down to this earth as a baby in a manger in the Christmas story, he came as the Prince of Peace. He came as the only way to have that true peace in your heart, that true everlasting peace. It's a peace that reassures your soul deep down that you know that if something happens to me and my time here on this earth is over, no matter what life throws at me, I can rest assured and know that I have true peace deep down in my soul because I have Jesus in my heart. So my prayer for you this Christmas is that you do truly know uh, true peace uh, through the Prince of Peace. And so I encourage you to, to, to read these scriptures, to think about these scriptures and apply them to your lives uh, as you go throughout this, this next week or so through the Christmas season. And uh, I hope that you get a little bit something out of this devotion today. Hope your families are well. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and we hope to see you at Mount Olive tomorrow. Our service starts at 11, and uh, we will see you then.